Nogla and Terrorizer and Vanos. There's been a couple of people worrying about something. <laughs> a couple people. I think a lot of people. Um, if you go to Vanos's community tab, something came out on his community tab. He's still uploading content. Nothing's changed. But if you go on Vanos's community tab and scroll down to here, I can't upload anything without getting age restricted. It's happened twice for uh, the latest Backrooms video. Uh, even after I removed all the swearing, I might just quit YouTube. Okay? You can read the comments. Some people are worried. Some people think it's a joke. Blah, 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 blah. Nogla uploads <laughs> right here on Twitter. You got to scroll all the way up. Sorry. One day there'll be no more Vanos crew. So some people obviously clipped uh, or screenshotted uh, what Vanoss said in the video, if I can go down far enough, right here. So some people actually thinking, okay, there won't be no more Vanoss Creek because Vanoss is going to quit YouTube. He's done with YouTube. Now, <laughs> you tell me and you let me know real quick if you think this will warrant any sort of him quitting YouTube altogether. All the money he makes on all of his other videos, all the merch that he sells, all um, all that they do. Do do you guys think that this warrants any sort of um, Vanos like quitting or whatever? And do you think Nogla's tweet is or is referencing that? I personally don't think so at all. But some people did ask me about it and was like, "Are they quitting or whatever?" One person even asked me to DM them, which is ridiculous. I can't even DM them. Um, but I don't think it's, it, it, it's them quitting at all. Now, I do think that there has been a new conversation opened up with this that I do see other people doing that YouTube does like to demonetize videos. And when you do remove it and cut out certain things and re-upload it, it still recognizes it to be demonetized. Um, some people said that, Hey, just in the first minute or two, don't put any swearing, but then you can put swearing after and it'll, it'll still work. And some people can do that. Some people can't. It's kind of all over the place. I personally do not think at all that. I, I think YouTube is a little weird where certain things are allowed on, on the platform, but other things cannot be. And it's kind of like this kind of reverse thing where you think things are backwards, where this should be allowed while this should not be allowed. And it all goes down to monetization, um, identity theft. If you don't know, Terrorizer recently had something on his Twitter as well that, uh, text me on telegram thanks for the feedback and it's like terrorizers logo and everything like that and somebody put up on twitter no way i'm so happy you don't understand that terrorizer actually responded to this person in a comments video uh terrorizer sits here and puts uh youtube creators can you please uh make better tools to protect my viewers i can't see this account in my comments therefore struggle to ban the account instead of censoring the video protect the users so some people are able to see comments but the but the content creator themselves cannot see the the user who is obviously trying to impersonate the person um so it seems like there is a lot of stuff where Vanoss seems to struggle to have a video monetized. It wouldn't be the first for Terrorizer or Nogla or any of the other members of the Vanoss crew. They've also probably had struggles on monetization and what they can cut out and what they have to bleep out in XYZ. Obviously, it gets annoying when you have to bleep out every single swear word, especially if your content's always been about that. And, you know, you've always had the freedom to say stuff like that. But what do you do going forward? I mean... You have they have to make a living. They've they've had their lives built around it. They've been doing it for you know, what the last ten years, ten plus years. Um, what do they do going forward? So they kind of have to switch over to what YouTube is doing and what they want to do to please advertisers and everything. Like oh no swearing, it has to be uh, family friendly content, and that might affect their views because they they've never gotten that. So what do they do? So. Me personally, I'm just going to say this, and I, I don't know if this means anything or not. I don't think it does. But going forward on YouTube, I think that for the monetization thing, I think everything's going to start to calm down a little bit, hopefully. I think less emphasis is going to be on all bleep out every swear word. I think the world as a whole is going to get just a little bit more mature and be normalized again soon. And I only say this because I see a few different streaming services that originally only uploaded PG-13 start to get into uploading more. Even Disney Plus is starting to upload some P more PG-13, like more adult PG-13 stuff. 
Um, and, and, and the same goes for other types of content creators who are still monetized and all this other stuff. I think everything might slowly get there. I have no information or no, no evidence to back this up. It's just my personal opinion. I do think things might get better in the future. I just don't know when or how soon. I have noticed that there was a couple stuff that I watch on Disney Plus that I don't think belongs on Disney Plus. According to their, we keep Disney Plus family friendly, but they put it on there anyways. You know, I think there might be an effort to, hey, a little bit's okay. We'll, we'll allow a little bit and maybe that will become the new norm. It's kind of become the norm now that you've got to cut out almost every single swear word of yours and you're not allowed to talk about controversial topics anymore on YouTube. So, therefore, if you want to earn money, you have to follow those guidelines. And I think things might normalize and might get back to normal. And it's all about raising awareness for it and telling YouTube themselves. So, by them putting stuff out either on their community tab or Terrorizer on Twitter, adding YouTube creators, it might help um, a couple of these issues. Obviously, talking about it more on other platforms or raising awareness to it. Again, they might just be minor gripes. It might not mean anything. They might just be upset in the moment. They might have just said things. Or it's just all one big joke and it's no big deal. Will Vanos quit YouTube? No, not at all. He's not just one of the biggest members in the group, but he's one of the biggest gaming YouTubers on the platform. He's not going to simply quit because a couple videos get demonetized. I think he will find a workaround or YouTube will find a workaround for him. Um, I don't think it will be that big of a deal. Um, for Terrorizer, if there are, for him to have somebody impersonate him to try to get people to, you know, think that somebody else is Terrorizer instead of him himself, um, that happens with all content creators. YouTube does need to do a better security thing for something like that. Even small content creators get that all the time. The Verify badge is supposed to help with that, but sometimes it doesn't. I see people trying to fake the Verify badge all the time. It they Some of them do look convincing when they fake it. So again, I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it helps. I think that there should be some sort of uh, better moderation, but at the same time, there's always going to be issues. I do think that the Vanoss crew will work with that. I do think they just get irritated like all other content creators get uh, do and all that. Now, with Nogla saying someday there'll be no more, in quotes, Vanoss crew, that could be referencing a couple different things. It might not just be Vanoss quits. It could be that, but it could also be a reference that some of the Vanoss crew We'll probably end up splitting up and doing different types of content like we've seen before. We've seen Wildcat do more of a vlogging channel. We've seen Nogla and Terrorizer do more react sort of stuff. Vanos still has been like the more, one of the more true gaming type um, like like Delirious has and other people as well. And over over time, we've obviously seen people and members of the crew fall out because of bad reasons or leave because of whatever reason. They might just not be a, a crew anymore like they used to. Will they still be friends? I'm sure. Will they still play together from time to time? I'm sure. But will they be like a close group like they always are? I don't know. I don't know what Vanoss's goal is, and I think he's always been one not to make any sort of solo content. He's always tried to include people and as much people as possible. So, I mean, having Vanoss as a backbone that he's always going to work like together as um, or always want to work together with other people, um, especially people in the crew. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think it will be. Um, I, I. I don't think it will happen. I, I don't know what Nogla is meaning by it. It might just be a joke. But if anybody's worried about it, I personally wouldn't worry about it unless they actually say something um, about it. Saying it briefly in a tweet probably means nothing. Five years from now, it's probably not going to mean anything. I'm pretty sure they'll still be playing together. But I could be wrong.